Okay, so today we are going to discuss on LKS1, right? This is also a very basic standard and a familiar standard for you, that is presentation of financial statements, right? Very first standard in your accounting standard book. Okay, so these are the learning objectives, right? So at the end of this chapter, or at the end of this lesson, right? So you should able to answer for these, right? So you should be able to outline what are the general requirements for the presentation of financial statements and outline the content of a complete set of financial statements, right? Complete set of financial statements, right? And you should be able to differentiate between current and non-current assets or liabilities, right? So these are the things expected from you under this topic, right? Under LKS 1. Okay, so here are the contents or so the key areas that we are going to discuss, right? We are going to discuss on the general requirements of financial statements and about complete set of financial statements, right? And the format, at, format and content of each of these financial statements and the current and non-current distinction on no they will take a time a pick a tiger and and they'll get as well right okay so here first we have given the definition right definition of general purpose financial statement this stuff we have discussed yesterday as well right based on the purpose right based on the purpose we can divide financial statements into two categories one we identify as general purpose financial statements the other one is a specific purpose financial statements right? based on the purpose we can categorize financial statements into two these accounting standards plus the conceptual framework discusses on the general purpose financial statements right they are not talking about the specific purpose one a bit of a hammer standard conceptual framework general purpose financial statements right so they are not addressing on the specific purpose financial statements. So what are these general purpose financial statements? Poddu paramarthi moolya prakashana kele kya ne mukad? Vachane mati ya mukad. Poddu paramarthi, right? So we these are the financial statements we prepare. This this is what I need to highlight. We prepare in common to all interested parties. Kartavat specifically prepare karnega neve, commonly prepare karnega, right? To all interested parties. Ika manager taunat, owners la taunat, right? Government take a taunat, income tax authorities will taunat, banks will taunat, right? We prepare one common set of financial statements that is the general purpose financial statements, right? Financial statements prepared in common to all interested parties financial statements general purpose right so in in the sri lankan context right most of private companies private companies they maintain right three or four financial statements financial statements Maintain Karna, Ikakia like your own purpose secretary, Itika auditors, income tax authorities, Itavaka Hadanama banks felt loan gun harimi, whatever it is, right? So that is a wrong practice, but still, so in Sri Lanka we can observe that. In Sri Lanka we prepare right, several types of financial statements. Had Nang Ikai had unknown appear. A cake of purpose will take a financial statements well there. Bank can loan like a gun known now up your original figures name. Ever in a skull loan like a gun loan like a past and with the financial statements manipulate curl. Banks for income tax will tell the other. 
අපි ඉන්කම් එක පුළුවන් තරමක් අඩුවෙන් අපි ප්‍රොෆිට් එක පුළුවන් තරමක් අඩුවෙන් පෙන්වන විදිහට ෆයිනැන්ෂල් ස්ටේට්මන්ට්ස් මැනිපියුලේට් කරලා යාලට යනවා right so that is a wrong practice in sri lanka right okay then it talks about the objective right so these are from the conceptual framework but still you should have this understanding the objective of financial statements we have discussed is to provide but provide information kata the menna me kiyana primary users letter existing and potential investors lenders and other creditors for what in making decisions about providing resources to the entity right we have discussed on this objective right then we will move to lks1 right lks1 is on what presentation of financial statements right it is not on the preparation it is on the presentation prepare karata passe api eka present karanna ona ne e present karaddi api follow karanna ona dewal monowada api adhere wenna ona dewal monowada kiyala thamai me standard ekey kiyan right it contains general requirements for the presentation of financial statements together with suggested formats and disclosure requirements meala me standard ekin kiyena pradhanama de me api financial statement present karaddi right comply wenno ona general requirements monowada ita amathara meala right they are suggesting on the formats api statement of financial position ekak kadanama nan මොන මොන ලයින් අයිටම්ස් ද තියෙන්න ඕන PNL එක හදනවා නම් මොන මොන ලයින් අයිටම්ස් ද තියෙන්න ඕන ස්ටේට්මන්ට් ඔෆ් චේන්ජස් ඉන් ඉක්විටි හදනවා නම් කොහොමද ෆෝමැට් එක යන්නේ රයිට් ඒක ගැන LKS1 වලින් කතා කරනවා apart from that the disclosure requirements right for an example we need to disclose the basis we have used for the preparation of financial statements right අපි මොනවද බේසිස් එක විදිහට ගත්තේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා කවුන්ටින් ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ්ස් නැත්තම් අපි තියෙනවා gap කියලා එකක් යනවා right ඒවද so the basis we need to disclose here i have pointed out some of the general requirements not all ha man metana general requirements kihipayak dala tiyena me kihipaya vitarak neme tiyena thawa general requirements tiyena right so you can always go to the original standard and refer right for your understanding i have put few right look at the first one financial statements other than the statement of cash flows are prepared on the accrual basis right cash flow statement එක ඇරෙන්න ඉතුරු financial statements අපි හදන්න ඕන accrual basis එකට that requirement comes from lks1 what do you mean by accrual basis මොකද මේ accrual basis කියලා කියන්නේ උපචිත පදනම what do you mean by that right when recognizing incomes and expenses right we need to consider the amounts relevant for the period irrespective of whether we have received or paid in cash api mudalin gewwada nadda kiyana eka nevei balanna ona aadayam wiyadam aduna ganiddi ewa kalachchedeyata adalaida nadda kiyana eka right that is discussed under accrual basis so that basis we need to use in preparing financial statements apart from statement of cash flows ayi cash flow statement ekedi mona basis ekata pavichchi karanne in preparing cash flow statement we use cash basis right ithuru anith financial statement categories well we have to use accrual basis as per lks1 right and then the second point what it says assets and liabilities and income and expenses are not offset unless required or permitted by another slfrs right assets and liabilities income and expenses me kiyana deval offset karanna ba again trade receivables 1500 pen anama nan i am talking about this huh? trade receivables 1500 pen anama nan trade payables 1000 pen anama nan when preparing a statement of financial position we cannot offset this to and reported as net trade receivables 500 oy deka offset karala 
right net trade receivables 500 kira figure ekak apata danna ba we need to right we need to present them separately assets liabilities set off karanna ba right income and expenses set off karanna ba right for an example right we we may have received certain income right other income source yak mak hari ganna right gain from ppe disposal that one we cannot right we cannot set off or offset with a distribution expense or whatever right income and expenses in general conditions we cannot offset api eva offset karanna bae kiyanne hilaw karanna bae kiyanne eva wena wenama api present karanna ona pennanna ona api financial statements wala right habai metana kiyenawa unless required or permitted by another slfrs or another accounting standard habai mukak hari wena accounting standard taking kiyenawa nan right it is okay to offset these two you have to offset these two kiyala then in such situations we can offset right so you may know in consolidated financial statements right slfrs 3 and slfrs 10 right business combination there right in the standard there is a requirement to offset the intercompany balances hem karanna ne ida intercompany balances right offset karanna kiyala standard ekema kiyana ehema standard ekakama visheshayen kiyana nan then in such situation such situations right we can offset na api consolidated financial statements wala baluwa thin balance sheet eke right inter company receivable inter company payable kiyala then dekema pennan na right we can offset that right inter company receivables wala inter company payables thiyena man offset kala net figure ekak vitara echo assets wala nattam liabilities wala pennanna puluwa ena figure ekak anu right so that is what it says here unless required or permitted by another slfrs when a standard taking kiyena man offset karanna kiyala okay එහෙම නැත්තම් you cannot offset right third point a complete set of financial statements should be presented at least annually right at least annually a complete set of financial statements a very important word a complete set of financial statements right complete set of financial statement එක right at least annually we need to present okay thamai general requirement eka so this is the general requirement right have i me general requirement eken api teliyata yanna puluwa e kiyanne avuruddakata wada wedi kala seema wa gihilla hari aduwen gihilla hari complete set eka present karanna puluwa in such situations right we need to disclose right we need to disclose why we have prepared it for a time period of less than 1 year or for a time period of more than 1 year we need to specifically disclose but the general requirement is right we need to present a complete set of financial statement at least annually as per case one right then it says financial statements are prepared on a going concern basis if you know about this going concern going concern kele kiyana mokad going concern basis right assumption that an entity will continue for a foreseeable future teki hai ki anagata kala seema wak dakwa vyapara ayatane tiye at least for another 12 months aduma tarame ilaga maasa 12 hawa behen nathu me company tiyenawa kiyana eka right that assumption so when preparing these financial statements we need to right have that assumption going concern basis going concern basis menna me assumption eka nathi unuthi mokadda wenne right going concern basis eka nathi unuthi akanda pewathmak nathi unuthi api danna othin api dannama nan ilanga maasa 12 athura da ape company eka behenama kiyala right mokak hari naduwakin hari mokak hari thiyarneyekin right we know there is no more going concern right? this will be right this will be ceased within the next 12 months what is one of the major change in our financial statements when it comes to presentation so the financial statements hadathi mokadda wenne there is no more that 
current non current distinction all the assets we need to present as current assets all the liabilities we need to present as current liabilities right going concern basis එක නැති වුණොතින් අපිට current non current distinction එකට යන්න බෑ හැම asset එකක්ම current assets වෙනවා හැම liabilities ම current liabilities වෙනවා right and the last point says presentation and classification of items should be consistent from one period to another right presentation and classification of items should be consistent consistency ka gena kiyana right but these can be right these can be right this can be changed right consistency ka kadanna wena avastha inna puluwa why because right the change in uh, classification or change in a presentation if it is resulted in a more relevant information you know ape classification ekak wenas karothin e wenas wena classification ekin apita godak relevant information ekak denna puluwan na right nattam godak hari aluth standard day ekin right apita kiyena wana classification ekak wenas karanna kiyala then in such situations these classifications and presentations right we can change or otherwise it should be consistent in visheshan kiyanne nattam sa bada relevant information denna beti nan in the general requirement is that it should be consistent right so these are not all the general requirements apart from these right there are some others for an example it talks about the comparability information right with this year figures you need to present the last year figures right comparable informations provide karanna kiyala kiyenawa right it talks about the fair presentation it means the information should be faithfully represented in financial statements right? those stuff are there in l case 1 so these are some of the basic general requirements as per l case 1 okay right now a complete set of financial statements right see here a complete set of financial statements includes the following menna me hama item ekak me ekatunata passe thamai api kiyanne a complete set of financial statement kiya right me components hama ekak me ekatunata passe a complete set so what are the components statement of financial position statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income here it says either as a single statement or as two separate statements apita menne me kiyana statement ekak statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income kiyana ekka ekka financial statement ekak vidiyata present karannat puluwa ehema nattam meyawa dekata kadala wena wenama present karannat puluwa Let me again. Either as a single statement or as two separate statements. Api me ava dekha te khatne manang, right? We can present the statement of profit or loss separately and the statement of other comprehensive income separately, right? So, but in practice, this financial statements, right, presented and prepared as a single statement. Right? Ek statement ya kijer tamai practice theke me ava. hadan the third category is right the statement of changes in equity right himika minas fee me prakashana ya right the statement of cash flows and notes notes including a summary of significant accounting policies and other explanatory information right notes an old report ya karan eyala ge notes diya belu othin फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ने के पीएनएल ले के पिन ना नोट्स भी तरक नहीं हुई, राइट? अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द बेसिस दे हैव यूज्ड इन द प्रिपेयरेशन, राइट? एंड अदर सिग्निफिकेंट अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसीज दे हैव इनकॉर्पोरेटेड, राइट? अबाउट एस्टीमेट्स एंड ऑल, ऑल दोस थिंग्स नीड टू बी डिस्क्लोज्ड, राइट? अंडर नोट्स इन अ कंप्लीट सेट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स की होती मिन ने में पास देना आगे में कतुआक, तमाय कंप्लीट सेट टेका किया ल किया right so this complete set we need to present at least annually as per l case 1 menna me set ekama api avuruddha te kavathawak wat present karanna ona and here it says 
LKAS1 gives guidance on the format and content of all the financial statements other than the statement of cash flows. Right? Me, ekka ekka statement take a format take a comma the when known. Ek mono the mono the unknown line items ki na deval LKAS1 will kata karanawa. Right? What should be the format and what should be the content is discussed in LKAS1 apart from this one statement of cash flows why statement of cash flow right mudal prabaha prakash arena right for all other statements it is discussed in lks1 it is discussed what should be the format and what should be the content right especially excluding this one why what should be the reason ai mea matari Miyagi format take a Miyagi content take an eye, LKS one will key and at the A. Economy again. Why we are excluding this one in LKS one? Why we do not discuss on the format and content of this? Right? Why? Unmute Kalakatag and Bev again and chat together. Right. Why we exclude statement of cash flows? Oh, why we are not discussing on the format and content of statement of cash flows and LKS one. And it have a format content cash flow cash flow statement Anyone? So we have 74. Aye. Cash flow statement take again at the A L K S one valley. Because for that there is a separate accounting standard. Right? Yes, exactly. Right? It is discussed in LK7. Right? standard that is LK7, right? First year, second semester. You have you may have discussed on that statement of cash flows, right? monometers for the Hadana Puluang, right? Mia Hadad the monomon activities for the Mia Vedana Puluang, right? Those things are discussed in LK7. So here in LK1, we are not going to discuss on this, right? Especially on its format and content. Right. So here are the objectives of each of these financial statements. Right. Statement of financial position. We prepare it for a period to asset a particular date. period for a particular date. Statement of financial position for a specific date. So it shows financial position as of a given date financial position assets equity liabilities right how is our financial position this is like a picture right a photo statement of financial position again a photo right a moment Compared to this one, a statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income, it shows the total comprehensive income for a given period or the financial performance. Api kohoma the financial terms will perform kalatin, right? Financially, how is our performance? Are we gaining profits or are we earning losses? Are we incurring losses? Right? It is depicted in statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. This is like a short video. Period. So this is like a picture. This is like a video. The difference. Make a particular date. Make a period. Right. Cash flow statement or statement of cash flows. It disclosed the cash receipts and payments in a given period. If our reporting period, within our reporting period, what are our cash inflows? What are our cash outflows? Right, for what activities we have, right, received cash for what activities we have, right, we have 
done the cash payments like that way it shows or it disclosed about the cash receipts and payments for a given period statement of changes in equity right it describe how the changes happen to the equity of the company in a given period right from the equity ka venas vela thiyen from beginning towards the end right that reconciliation and accounting policies and notes to the accounts it describe and explain the details of the item shown in the face of the statement of profit and loss statement of financial position right pnl ekey balance sheet ekey api ekey face ekey penana figures thawa duratat notes wala gihilla api explain karana it amatharawa right and accounting policies used in the preparation of financial statements api financial statements prepare karaddi api pavichchi karapu accounting policies monawada api apu judgments monawada api pavichchi karapu estimates monawada right api pavichchi karapu basis monawada Right, those stuff we need we need to disclose under notes right so i told you lks1 discusses on the format and content of financial statements format ekka saha content ekka gena katha karana by looking at this statement of financial position so what are the things you can observe here मनो दे is better if you can talk huh? so what are the requirements format ekena katha ganna ogi one yan monawada it what requirements have come from lks1 right as per lks1 right here xplc right the reporting entity name of the reporting entity we should have it on the top right this is a requirement comes from here lks1 lks1 will requirement ekak thamai me company e nama the reporting entity ke nama api adal financial statement eke udimma right morning pennanno if it is a group right within brackets we need to mention it is a it is group financial statements consolidated set of financial statement eta group financial statements nan hadanne right we need to disclose it group kiyana wachane tiyenna ona company name ekat ekka right plc group sorry xyz group right abc group right that way the name should be appear as such single entity eka nan e company e nam right nan nama right on the top we need to disclose that requirement comes from lks1 and what is the financial statement we are presenting that should be disclosed there අපි මොකක්ද මේ හදන්නේ ස්ටේට්මන්ට් ඔෆ් ෆයිනෑන්ෂියල් පොසිෂන් එකද PNL එකද රයිට් චේන්ජස් ඉන් ඉක්විටි එකද මොකක්ද කියන එක වී නීඩ් ටු ඩිස්ක්ලෝස් රයිට් සෝ දැට් ඉස් අ රික්වයර්මන්ට් ඔෆ් LKS1 රයිට් අපි ලකුණු ගන්න නෙමෙයි දානේ රයිට් දිස් ඉස් වෙයර් ද රික්වයර්මන්ට් කම්ස් ෆ්‍රොම් රයිට් එක්සෑම් එකේ ලකුණු ගන්න දැම්මට මෙතනින් තමයි මේ රික්වයර්මන්ට් එක එන්නේ LKS1 තමයි කියන්නේ කම්පැනි නම උඩින්ම දාන්න right api hadana financial statement wargaye mokad eka ilangata daanne right the, then the period right period nattang the particular date nischitha dinakata nan hadanne e dawasa daanne period ekata nan hadanne e period eka pennanna right that requirements also comes from lks1 right and in which currencies api pavichchi karana currency eka mokad rupees the usd the right yen the euro the that currency we need to disclose or present right in our financial statements currency ka penna no right so i have told you few things nam right the category of the financial statement the period the currency and this one also right mukenda dani thousands walinda api kena level of round off kiyala right 
level of round off round off කරලා තියෙන කීයද thousands වල ඉන්න millions වල ඉන්න billions වල ඉන්න what it is we need to disclose right apart from that when it comes to the surface of this financial statement what is right oya tik in general hama financial statement ekem pennanno right the name the category of the financial statement period currency the level of round off these things right in all financial statements we need to right present apart from that right when it comes to the statement of financial position what you can observe here metana monoda peena thiyenne right presentation present kala thiyenne ge apita monoda peena thiyenne right so here assets and liabilities we have divided into two groups how some we have identified as non current assets and some we have identified as current assets in liabilities also some we have identified as non current liabilities and some as current liabilities this current and non current distinction is also addressed in lks 1 right lks 1 wala thamai oy current non current distinction ekena katha karanne and when it comes to the statement of financial position at least we need to present each of these line items men me line items pennanna ona right property plant and equipment right there is a separate standard for this but in the presentation when it comes to the presentation there should be a separate line item to represent this right men make a line items the known financial assets when on pen unknown intangible assets when on pen unknown apart from them apart from these biological assets right we need to present separately as a separate line item right stocks other receivables straight receivables financial assets right so these stuff or these separate line items we need to present and if you go through the original standard lks 1 right you may find a list list of line items we must present in our financial statements right me figures දැන් හිතන්න අපි ඉන්ටන්ජිබල් ඇසෙට්ස් අපේ කම්පැනි එකේ නෑ සීරෝ සීරෝ නම් පෙන්වන්න ඕන නෑ බට් ඉෆ් ඉට් හැස් අ පර්ටිකියුලර් වැලියු ඊයේ කරි වැලියු එකක් තියෙනවා නම් යස් ඩෙෆිනිට්ලි රයිට් විත් රෙස්පෙක්ට් ටු ඊච් ඔෆ් දීස් ලයින් අයිටම්ස් වි නීඩ් ටු ප්‍රසන්ට් රයිට් ඇන්ඩ් ද ඉක්විටි කම්පොනන්ට්ස් රයිට් දීස් තින්ග්ස් වි නීඩ් ටු ප්‍රසන්ට් ඕල් දීස් ලයින් අයිටම්ස් දෙයිස් අ ලෝන්ග් ලිස්ට් රයිට් ඉෆ් යු ගෝ ත්‍රූ එල්කේස් 1 ද ඔරිජිනල් ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් you could find a long list of line items that should be presented in the statement of financial positions right so here are only some only few few line items are here right me thiyena okkoma tika neve metana thiyena keepayak vitarai original standard ekata giyu thin etana full list ekak oyalata bala ganna puluwa right so here man kalin kiwage company nama right the category of the financial statements we need to present and for which period the currency and the level of round it round in of round off karuthin vitarai level ekak pennanna thiyenne right those things we need to present and in pnl in pnl and oci right in profit or loss statement we need to present at least these line items right turnover එක නැත්තම් revenue එක පෙන්වන්න ඕන cost of sales පෙන්වන්න ඕන gross profit එක පෙන්වන්න ඕන separately these line items we need to present right expenses profit before tax කීයද tax amount එක කීයද profit for the year amount එක කීයද right and other comprehensive income right other comprehensive income නැ other comprehensive income වලට එනවා right items line items like revaluation surplus gain on remeasurement of afs financial assets this has been revised now and gain on foreign currency right gain from translation of foreign currencies api foreign currency will in transactions walte yanawa nan api lkr walin hadaddi ewa translate karaganno etakota exchange rate winas wela apita gain ekak evila thiyena puluwa e wage welawa keva other comprehensive income right so generally so what we take under other comprehensive income means the gains which are not under our control ape control ekey nathi gains thamathana 
ring valuation surplus කියන එක land එකක් ගත්ත මොකක් හරි බාහිර පරිසරය හේතු right because of the external environmental factor the value of the land can go up beyond our control අපිට ඕන නිසා land එකේ අගේ වැඩි වුණා නෙවෙයි right බාහිර පරිසර සාධක නිසා land එකේ අගේ වැඩි වුණා ඒක අපිට control කරන්න බැරි දෙයක් හැබැයි ඒකින් අපිට gain එකක් ආවා such gains be present under other comprehensive income right foreign currency gain එකත් එහෙම අපිට ඕන නිසා foreign currency exchange rate එක වැඩි වුණා නෙවෙයි right because of the macroeconomic factors the rate has gone up 170 තිබ්බ රේට් එක අවුරුද්ද මුල 180 190 අවුරුද්ද අග වෙලා ඒක අපේ ඉම්පැක්ට් එකෙන් නෙවෙයි උනේ right it is because of the macro environmental factors but we are enjoying the benefit of it we have a gain so that right we have to present such gains under other comprehensive income ape control ekin nathu apita apu right gains ape benefits we present under other comprehensive income right so the profit plus this other comprehensive income we have to identify as total comprehensive income right api pnl metcher dawas haduwata me widira dala me requirement ek attara menne lks 1 wali right okay then a statement of cash flows so this is discussed in lk7 right you know these things by looking at this you can say the method used for preparation of this one methods dekai ni direct method indirect method meka hadala thiyena mona method ekeni right we have directly taken the profit before tax figure right then we have done certain adjustments on depreciation so non cash for non cash items and right we have adjusted for working capital changes so this is what method this is indirect method right these are supposed to discuss under lks 7 right the statement of changes in equity right so here you can see we have the open in balance and we have the end in balance so we have to do this reconciliation how right we have got this balance how we have generated this end in balance right with respect to this open in balance right this reconciliation we need to produce retrospective applications nisa restatements nisa then accounting policies change with which nisa ape equity components wala gyan wenas denna poluwa that we need to disclose separately right and the contributions to and contributions from equity components right contribute apita right ape equity ekak wedi wenne hetu natha equity ekak api distribute karapu vidhi we need to disclose under changes in equity statement right and on this one current and non current distinction right current and non current assets and liabilities should be presented separately in the statement of financial position kawuda kiyanne lks1 lks1 thama kiyanne current non current assets liabilities wena wenama pennanna kiyala right other than where a presentation based on liquidity provides more relevant and reliable information what this talks about presentation based on liquidity provides more relevant information and reliable information you can go in concern assumption ekak kadu no thing right if we do not have further more going concern right then at that time we do not need this distinction go in concern ekak nattam me distinction ekata yanna on na current non current kiyala bedanna one na e wage vilawa ka right i told you previously as well all the assets we need to present as current assets all the liabilities we need to present as current liabilities okay an entity shall classify an asset as current when right, the basic thing you know under here api mukak hari asset ekak nattan liability ekak current kiyala current de nadda right changama de nadda kiyala api kiyanne right ara 12 months period ekak base karagena right but if you see through here it is not the only requirement ek vitarakma nevei apita base karaganna puluwa there are some other factors as well right 
in a what it says it expects to realize the asset or intends to sell or consume it in its normal operating cycle right it expects to realize the asset or intends to sell or consume it in its normal operating cycle what do normal operating cycle ke lagyan what do you mean by normal operating cycle right what is that we purchase raw materials we make that raw materials into finished goods we sell that finished goods to customers customers pay us money right from that money we pay to our trade creditors right we pay to our creditors right again we purchase raw materials right that circle that cycle is the normal operating cycle right in that cycle we generate so we we it will be resulted in generating trade receivables and trade payables right so here we are talking about assets so trade receivables that is why we take it take it under current assets right trade receivables uno thing samahara vita oya trade receivables kela pendana amount ekka apita ilanga masa 12 athulata labin nathi wena avastha tiyenna puluwa still trade receivables we present under current assets or we have to present under current assets right kela masa 12 hama nevi මෙන්න මේ සයිකල් එක ඇතුලේ නම් ඉන්නේ සයිකල් එක ඇතුලේදී මේක රියලයිස් කරගන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනව නම් ස්ටිල් රයිට් වී නීඩ් ටු ක්ලැසිෆයි ඉට් ඇස් කරන්ට් රයිට් දැට් ඉස් වයි ට්‍රේඩ් රිසීවබල්ස් වී අයිඩෙන්ටිෆයි ඇස් අ කරන්ට් ඇසෙට් ඔකේ ඉට් හෝල්ඩ්ස් ද ඇසෙට් ප්‍රයිමර්ලි ෆෝ ද පර්පස් ඔෆ් ට්‍රේඩින් කොච්චර කාලයක් තිබිලා විකුණුන් නැති වුණත් ඒකයි අපි ඉන්වෙන්ට්‍රීස් හැමතිස්සෙම කරන්ට් ඇසෙට්ස් වලට ගන්න 12 months කියලා කියන්නේ අර අපි මතක මතක් කරගන්න ලේසි විදිහට හදාගත් එකක් විතරයි right so it is it is just another fact 12 months කියන එක තව එක fact එකක් විතරයි right තව එක consideration එකක් විතරයි but there are other considerations as well right inventory කියලා තියෙන එක සමහර විට right ඊළඟ මාස 12 ඇතුළත realize නොවෙන්න පුළුවන් especially in automobile industry අපි මා කලි කාර් එකක් ඉම්පෝට් කරලා තින් අපි ඔටෝමොබයිල් ඉන්ඩස්ට්‍රි එකේ නම් ඉන්නේ right ඒ වගේ අයිටම්ස් සෙල් වෙන ෆ්‍රීකන්සි එක හරි අඩුයි right එතකොට though it is right සමහර අය තියෙනවා අවුරුදු දෙකක් තුනක් වෙන්නත් පුළුවන් ඒ අයිටම් එක සෙල් වෙන්න යන කාලේ still we identify it under current assets right why this is where we can take the basis we are holding it for the primarily purpose of trading then we can identify such under current assets right part c it says it expects to realize the asset within 12 months this is the one we know right in a maas 12 athulata apita meka realize karaganna puluwan nam then such assets we can identify under current assets right godak receivables ohoma api bala aporuthu wenawa in a maas 12 athulata eka realize karaganna ehena ehema puluwan nam we have to identify it under current assets right and the asset is cash or cash equivalent the asset එක cash නම් නැත්නම් cash equivalent එකක් නම් of course we need to identify under current assets right so based on these things we can determine whether a particular asset is a current asset or a non current asset මෙන්න මේ මොකක් හරි එකක් එක්ක අපිට පෙන්වන්න පුළුවන් නම් right it is a current assets if not so right all the other assets we need to identify as non current assets එහෙම නැත්නම් අනිත් හැම asset එකක්ම non current assets වෙනවා right so this is how we distinct whether a particular asset is current or not liabilities වලත් ඕක ඔය ටිකම තමයි right it expects to settle the liability in its normal operating cycle that is why trade payables comes come in under current liabilities normal operating cycle එකේ අපි settle කරන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන නිසා customer ගෙන් සල්ලි හම්බුනාට පස්සේ අපි raw materials නයට ගත්තේ settle කරනවා normal operating cycle එක ඇතුලේ වෙන දෙයක් right therefore we can identify it under current assets it holds the liability primarily for the purpose of trading to be honest i'm not knowing about this area right so in practice i have not seen this right liability trading purpose තියාගෙන ඉන්නවා මන් දැකලා නැහැ right so 
so this is an adoption this is maybe because in right in foreign countries right they may have something like this and in part c it says the one we know the liability is due to be settled within 12 months after the reporting period in a mass of dollar to let up and cut liability of settle current in no one right light bill of copy of curry water bill of copy of curry in a term of curry short term of united got the curry longer mass of dollar to let the settle current about what it's doing in no one such we can identify as current as sorry current liabilities apart from these three all other liabilities we have to identify as non current liabilities right that is where that is how current and non current distinction should be done right based on these requirements right so that is in terms of lks1 right lks1 wala wetika tamai api katha karanne with that we'll move to some past paper questions right right so this table i have shown previously right so this is how the how the questions from conceptual framework and lk is one right how these areas has been tested right for how many marks right so here i have figures from 2015 to 2018 in 2019 as well it has been tested for eight marks right so in general right from cash flow sorry from conceptual framework and lks1 right it will be tested around for eight marks right samane lakunu atakata test karala thiyenawa pahugiya pass papers wala right 2019 paper i don't have with me right now but i can remember the two questions from this right 2019 wala me areas willing have we right one was we need to explain the terms relevance and faithful representation right relevance kiyana ekai faithful representation ekai explain karanna hala tibba right you know relevance means what right if it is if a particular information is capable of making a change in the user's decision that information deemed to be relevant තීරණයක් වෙනස් කරන්න හැකියාවක් තියෙනවා නම් capable of making a change in the decision that is relevant faithful representation කියලා කියනකොට it should satisfy three criteria it should be complete it should be neutral and it should be free from errors right so that was the first one and the second question was right it have asked to name the complete set of financial statements complete set of financial statements api l case 1 wala katha karapu eka ahala tibba etakota etana inne mona oda right api nikamma pnl nikamma balance sheet kelli wo thin waradi right it should be with these names right the statement of financial position statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income statement of changes in equity statement of cash flows and notes so these are the complete set of financial statements so that was the questions from 2019 2019 wala hapu prashna me area sorry from conceptual framework and lk is one right 2018 right to a certain extent i have discussed this one right what it says 2018 under conceptual framework and lk is one these things have been tested part 1 briefly explain following assumptions which are used to prepare general purpose financial statements right when the mere assumptions explain karanna lu going concern what do you mean by going concern right mamma prashna hanawa mamma uttara dena what do you mean by going concern right going concern kela kiyanne the assumption that the entity will continue for a foreseeable future right takiye hakki anagata kala seema wak dakwa vyapara ayatane pavati kiyala kiyana upakalpane right the assumption that the entity will continue for a foreseeable future accrual basis 
right when recognizing incomes and expenses right we have to recognize the amounts relevant for the period irrespective of whether we have received or paid it in cash mudilin gewwa no gewwa kiyana eka nevei warshata adala nan adayam vedam anduna ganna kiyana eka right accrual basis part 2 it asks what are the enhancing qualitative characteristics of accounting information we know qualitative characteristics can be divided into two fundamental and enhancing metan api ganna enhancing qualitative characteristics monowada kiyala there are four right there are four what are those thing what are those four right oy chat ekata kiyala type karanna puluwan ha or you can unmute and talk what are the four enhancing qualitative characteristics monowada understandability right verifiability timeliness and comparability right comparability verifiability timeliness and understandability right? a frequently tested area in your past papers qualitative characteristics can frequently ala thiyena amma urutte ekak wage ala thiyena right and question number 3 here following information are extracted from the financial statements of a listed company in columbus stock exchange plc ekin gatte information tikak denawa gross profit is this much sum of admi administration distribution and financial expense this much tax expense given changes in revaluation surplus given right gain on translation of foreign operation given right so these figures are given and we need to calculate these ones what is the profit for the year what is the comprehensive income what is the total comprehensive income right here i will have it here right so we have gross profit gross profit amount of a gross profit amount of 200000 this is the gross profit from the gross profit we know we need to right deduct the expenses right we need to deduct the expenses administrative distribution and financial expenses the sum of these a uh, 140000 right 140000 expenses so like that right x expense is 18000 Right, tax expense is eighteen thousand. Changes in revaluation surplus. Changes in revaluation surplus. Right. Or a gain from gain from revaluation. We have a gain of three thousand five hundred. And gain on translation. Translation of foreign operations. we have 4500 right what is the name i can given for this figure here e kiyanne gross profit walin menna me expenses tika addu karata passe onnoy 60000 ta mata denna puluwan nama mokadda what is the name i can give for this figure 60000 what this 60000 is what mokadda me menne metena man namak denna ona mata denna puluwan nam mokada net profit not exactly this is not the net profit figure why we have not deducted the tax expense thama tax expense ek adu karala na tax expense ek adu karanna kali before deducting the tax expense we have 60000 
So this is what? Profit before tax. Profit before tax. Exactly. Profit before tax. Right? In profit short before. terms, we call PBT. Profit before tax. Profit so, before tax. Yes. Correct. Then what should be this amount? This amount means from profit before tax, we deduct the tax expense. Profit after tax. Yes. This is profit after tax. We call PAT. Right? Profit after tax. Right. There is nothing called net profit before tax, right? So it is profit before tax. Okay. Then we have these figures. These are what? Changes or gain from revaluation re and gain on translation of foreign currency. Right? Change gain on translation of foreign currency and gain on revaluation re sur surplus. These are the gains we received right from the activities which are out of our control. It a control barrier. Right? A pay scope again, LET naming up it lebisha gains. These are May they not have it for the weekend of one number? These are what when discussing that PNL, right? We have discussed these are these are what we called other, other comprehensive income, right? Yes, so these are the two sources of other comprehensive income as per this sum, you know. May the right? This eight thousand is what? Eight thousand is our comprehensive income. In part B, they are asking for this week comprehensive income. Right? Eight thousand five hundred plus four thousand five hundred. Part B will appear comprehensive income maker eight thousand. May the Namang Katukurati profit after tax sekai. Comprehensive income is not going to be able to get the total income. What is this? Total comprehensive income. Yes, this is what we call total comprehensive income. That is, that should be there, then therefore answer for part C. Total comprehensive income. Right. So this is the answer for part B. 8,000, this is the answer for part C. Then what is the answer for part A? What is the profit for the year? Here. Profit for the year, 50. Plus, 50. Plus profit, take the profit before tax, take the profit after tax, take the net the amount, take the net the year. What is the profit for the year? Profit for the year? What? 42,000. Right? So I have received an answer called 42,000. What is? It would have an answer. Right? Profit for the year. 60. Right? So profit for the year. Right? Profit for the year means the same as profit after tax right profit for the year kila ki net profit after tax kila ki what profit for the year kila ki what ehemat nattam net profit kila ki what oya tunem kiya wenne ekama de right therefore this should be the answer for part a 42000 right so 42000 should be the profit for the year figure right? Profit for the year amount forty two thousand. Okay, and that is from two thousand eighteen, right? That is from two thousand eighteen. Then, make hari ne right? So then we will move to two thousand seventeen one. Two thousand seventeen. Okay, here it does. What are the fundamental and enhancing qualitative characteristics of financial information? So I told you this area has been frequently tested. Qualitative characteristics. Fundamental characteristics. 
enhancing characteristics one of them, right? So there are two fundamental characteristics, relevance and faithful representation. There are four enhancing qualitative characteristics. Those are comparability, verifiability, timeliness, and understandability, right? In part two, it asks, explain the objective of general purpose financial statements. Objective of general purpose financial statements. What is the objective? Right? To provide what? To provide information about the reporting entity for, prime, for potential and existing investors, lenders, and other creditors in making decisions about providing resources to the entity. Right? That is the objective of general purpose financial statements. And right? we have talked about this several times, objective. And part three, it asks us, mention elements of accounting and recognition criterions to be recognized them in financial statements. Right? Elements, there are five elements. Right? Don't mix up with elements and components. Elements keywording and assets, liabilities, income, expenses, and equity. Components keywording and financial statements Right? So the elements are assets, liabilities, income, expenses, and equity. Recognition criteria are Right, 2017 it is no more valid now. Right, it is no more valid for 2020. Right, recognition criteria with the revised conceptual framework I discussed it has been changed. Now the recognition criteria are what relevant and faithful representation, fundamental characteristics. Recognition criteria right? Relevance and faithful representation. Right? Probability. Probable or future economic benefits. Gala in a katandre. Aye kiara cost taken at the value. Reliably measure grana pulwang kian pulwang when no kin katandre the my kalinti. But now it has been changed. Right? That is 2017. Okay, and 2016, right, 2016, right, from conceptual framework and LKS1. Part one, what it says, what is meant by general purpose financial statements, right? The das, the hathe have objective again, the das, da se and what is mean by general purpose financial statement. Right? So those are the financial statements we prepared in common to all interested parties. Right? The financial statements prepared in common to all interested parties are general purpose financial statements. Right? Right, mean right, and definition objective you know, objective definition you know, right. So don't mix up with those two. And in part two, it asks name the qualitative characteristics, right? Name the qualitative characteristics of financial information. Fundamental in the kiela. Therefore, we should know to right to name all. Fundamental qualitative enhancing the you know, if it is fundamental, there are two relevance and faithful representation. If it is enhancing, there are four comparability, right? Understandability, timeliness, and verifiability. Right. Part three, it says what? Mention elements of accounting and define two of them. Elements mentioned can make a there are five assets liabilities, income, expenses, and equity. But when it comes to the definition, right, the answer given for 2016 here is not valid now for 2020. Why? 
the definitions have been changed or more simplified now. Okay, assets, liabilities, right, income, expenses, or definition. Equity given as well, any thatrem definitions, right? For an example, assets. Now, how we can define assets? Those are the present past event. What a present economic resource give me a little no idea. Control can not give me a little no idea. Past result give me a little no idea. Right? That understanding is important. Liability defined kare. A present obligation to transfer economic resources as a result of past event. Right? A present obligation to transfer economic resource right as a result of past event right? like that way you need to provide whatever two definitions right api income expenses will lead the right income now increase right increase in assets or decrease in liability which will be resulted in an increase in equity except for right uh, contributions to or contributions by equity holders Right, I think I'll give the equity holders to the other talk than a header. But come every we means a looping hurry, but give me a do we miss a looping hurry. Equity will have even increase the Katamaya income calculator defined. Right, so those definitions you need to be familiar for your exam purposes. Right, so things like these or area or these areas have been tested. Right, or with your Tamay, a big attacker for topics digging. Conceptual framework and LK is one. Well, in exam, we get right? So, with that, we will conclude the session for today, right? With the next session, we will discuss on LK 16. Right? So, before I discuss it over here, please go through the materials and the recording uploaded to the LMS, right? LMS to upload karpu materials recordings balan right then it will be easy for me and for you as well and so we will right discuss past paper questions with related to lk 60 right here in the next week okay thank you then hello sir yes sir